to this first episode in my FS22 wind down series. In this episode I'm going to be looking at the base game maps that Giants have produced for FS22 and ranking them from my least favourite to favourite. It is of course my opinion. Now coming in at number 5 is Erlengrat. First of all I must say that these are just my opinions on these maps. They are all very very well done, very very well made and as you would expect from a Giants made map. So this is purely how I have felt and or felt the need to play each map. So Erlengrat, you start off with a reasonable amount of equipment. You have 15 cars, so you, you pretty much, like most of Giants maps, start off with a reasonable amount of stuff to get you going on, um, on New Farmer mode. Now I've looked at these all on New Farmer mode. As I said, very, very well mapped. Nothing wrong with the map at all, just is one of those maps that I didn't play an awful lot. I played it enough to to get a feel for the map. Quite hilly of course, reasonable amount of fields, um, lots of meadows because of course you do, it's based uh, to start off with a lot on um, dairy production so yeah, not a bad map but not my favourite one. The other thing that I felt is that we could have perhaps had a little bit more land to start with on this map. Maybe a field 33 or something, or 34 or something like that, just to give us a little bit more grass to start with. Although we only had 15 cars, but still. In any case, that is my number five. And now coming in at number four is Silonka. Now I did do a series on Silonka but I didn't start on New Farmer mode. I um, established a my own little farm sort of um, start from scratchish um, and it went real, rather well. I really enjoyed doing it. So I really did enjoy playing this map. It is once again very well made, I think that just goes without saying, and gave you that the correct field of a Eastern European countryside. I did like the appearance of this new vehicle, which is clearly a very well-known maker vehicle, but <laughs> um, yeah, I like that and I, and I used it quite extensively. And it also introduced, for the first time officially, I think, uh, vegetable farming. And I think that's probably why it's gone down at number four. I really didn't get on that well with the vegetable farming. Um, some nice little new barns. It was right up there with top maps. But yeah, it only comes in at number four for me. And now coming in at number three is Hout Baileron, a fantastic map that came out with FS22. The difference between this map that I've put at number three and the one coming in at number two is so marginal. But I did have to rank one above the other. And I did that purely by the one that I played the most or spent the most time playing. And even that was not a huge difference. So a nice decent sized farmyard, fairly flat, and some good starting equipment. Although verging on vintage, 
they were adequate for the size of the fields. And we started with pretty much the standard. I think it's three tractors and a harvester. Varying types of tractors, age, of course a bit of a run around to get, to get around. All, all good. So, a outstanding map and ranks in overall maps right near the top as do most of the giants and maps. Really enjoyed playing this and that came in at number three. And now coming in at number two is Elm Creek. So this is the American map that came out with FS22 and we start right on the main road, very centrally situated, very American looking map, nice big open spaces, not flat flat but flattish. Once again we start with reasonable equipment, reasonable amount of fields, nice Nice barns. Nice little details again on the map. As always, brilliant map. Fantastically modeled by giants. And very, very playable. Spent many hours playing with this map. Nice big red barn. Do like this barn. This little nooks and crannies in it. I really enjoyed exploring that to show you the one thing. Oh, the steps are on the other side. I've got this sort of second layer almost under the ground. Well it is pretty much under the ground. In this little workshop with a, a model of the farm on it. Fantastic go out the front door or the bottom door is a bit of a uphill coming out of there and lots of little bits and pieces lots of creeks of course to navigate lots of different little buildings information for lime so yeah a brilliant starter map Fantastic. Fantastic. Once again, same sort of type of equipment, slightly more modern than Hart Baileron, but all functional and good for the size. Great map, and this map comes in at number two. And now coming in at number one, numero uno, the big cheese, the best. <laughs> Actually, it surprised me when I thought about it, and I thought, uh, which was the map that I had the most fun on? And it turned out to be a forestry map. Of course, this came out as a separate DLC, I think. Or but yeah, um, Silver Run Forest just blew my mind when it came out. Just the starting sequence at the top, beautiful walking down the stairs to your to your farmyard. Of course, it is predominantly forestry, but it also introduced mining and mining equipment to a series on that where I started up around the main mine and used a lot of forestry, planted a lot of trees, had a, an exceptional amount of fun on this map. So we start with fairly old equipment. The Volvo was also new and I think Volvo was new to this to this DLC and this map so we had a really really 
high powered uh, Volvo truck that I used quite extensively on my Silver and Forest series. As you can see, it's pretty much trees, trees, trees. When that was first coming, I thought, no, I'm not going to enjoy this. I don't, I don't do forestry. And this got me into forestry. Um, and made me realize that pretty much everything that you do on these maps, if you just keep at it and work at it, you will eventually master the different types of equipment. It also introduced two new features. Well, it's one new feature, but two versions of it, and that is the building of structures. So we started with the roller coaster, and you could collect equipment, of course, at least collect materials to build a roller coaster. And it took a while. You had to work at it, you had to plan it, which made it very, very interesting. And which pushed this map was one of the reasons why that pushed this map into the stratosphere. I don't think any of the other maps actually come close to this one. And the other thing was the building of a boat at the boatyard. And that was also good fun. And as I said, that these two elements just kind of pushed this whole map into into a different league. For my money, most probably the best map of FS22 overall, including all the mods. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little series, this little look back at the Giants maps. If you have, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!